Doug, thanks so much for joining us. How are you doing? Great. You know, really interesting uh, to have you on. I was actually with a focus group <clears throat> of Pennsylvania uh, voters just in the suburbs of Philly uh, during uh, the debate. And when McCain kept trying to make the point about this plan, he didn't explain it very well. And you guys have acknowledged that in the debate, buying up all these bad home mortgages, we saw the numbers plummet, even among Republicans. And afterwards, they said, we don't like this plan. We don't like it because it's costing us, the taxpayers, more money. Why then is this a good idea? Well, first of all, it's not costing the taxpayers more money. Uh, the Congress has already put on the table $700 billion uh, to help financial institutions. Uh, in an earlier bill, $300 billion for the FHA to guarantee mortgages. Uh, all Senator McCain is saying is, look, if we're going to commit that kind of money from the taxpayers, let's target it to the people who need some help. There are 10 million people who have mortgages where uh, the mortgage is more uh, than the value of their house, and they have people struggling to make mortgages all across the country. Why don't we solve two problems at once? Let's help those folks avoid uh, a bankruptcy, avoid a foreclosure, avoid a default. Uh, in the process, stabilize housing values, which would help every homeowner in America, would help the economy because there's been an enormous downdraft on the economy, <clears throat> and it would help Doug, the financial institutions because the mortgages have been the problem for all these banks. So let's so, Doug, solve how can you claim that problems. this kind of plan has absolutely no price tag? What you're, what you're proposing oh, is that the government absorb the full cost of renegotiating essentially these mortgages so that a borrower doesn't, en borrow doesn't end up losing their home. Somebody's got to pay for it. And we've already committed to paying. And if Senator Obama, who uh, looked at this idea and thought it was such a good idea that the night of the debate claimed it was his own, but the very next day attacked John McCain about this plan, well, the reason's quite simple. Uh, number one, uh, it would work. And we've already committed to spending the money. Senator Obama evidently thinks we just send it to Wall Street. We think I'm so, send it to the Doug, homeowners and solve this problem. you say we've already committed to spending the money, who are you talking about? We've already committed to spending the money. Who? The Congress of the United States passed. The president signed a bailout bill with $700 billion in it. Uh, earlier this summer, the Congress uh, passed and the president signed $300 billion for the FHA. Uh, these are sums that must be used effectively, not wasted. John McCain led a battle for a week to make sure the bailout bill had taxpayer protections in it. Why don't we now use it effectively? This is the first time in this Why campaign that Barack Obama... Why didn't he make this argument then? Obama, Doug, I just don't but, get it. Like, if you wanted to use $300 billion of that well, $700 Nora, billion finish. to make sure it goes directly to the Why individual you let so me that they could, the government could you refinance, would then understand. why not make that proposal it then? Would be very simple because he made a proposal in March that helped the homeowners wasn't broad enough got about four hundred thousand the congress passed something that will help maybe half a million people john mccain led the fight to get a bailout bill that has these authorities in it this could happen tomorrow this could happen in a way that helps uh, americans in their homes and the financial crisis which is now global it could stop the threat to main street america from the inability to get everyday loans that finance businesses and obama suddenly has discovered the taxpayer after proposing eight hundred sixty billion dollars in new spending and raising taxes ninety four times in the u.s. senate why because he wants to change the subject from Barack Obama's problems with his campaign to attacking John McCain. The night of the debate, he thought this was a great idea. Why does he switch? Strictly political ambition. We need to solve problems. We don't need Barack Obama flipping positions to, to achieve a candidacy for president. We need to get help to homeowners. We need to stabilize financial markets. We need to get this economy on track. This plan is part of that kind of an effort. Doug, uh, I know as an economic advisor, you watch too what happens on the Dow every day, and we're watching it's now down 437 yeah. points. It's now 20 minutes to the closing bell, and this thing is sliding into really deep territory. Um, now it's 8,819. 8, um, why, when was promised that this $700 billion bailout that John McCain suspended his campaign for, said, I'm going to go back to Washington to help sure we rescue this economy, to make sure that it's strong, that it doesn't seem to be, and it's not just John McCain, Barack Obama voted for it too. Why is it not yeah. providing any relief? It seems like a huge price tag, and yet it, it's barely making a dent. In fact, things are getting worse. Well, it's obviously a terrible day in Wall Street. It's a terrible time in the U.S. economy. And, uh, you know, one point to be made is that we really haven't seen the funds start to flow out yet. But mm -hmm. I think a broader point is, you know, we need to have some transparency and some clarity about who gets help and under what circumstances. What's the nature of that help from the, the government? And who, how will it affect, uh, you know, creditors and, and equity investors? We don't have the kind of criteria and, and clarity that, for example, John McCain's trying to bring to this with his home ownership plan, but which should prevail all through this effort. And until we get that, I think we're going to see the market struggle. All right, Douglas Holtz-Eakin uh, from the McCain campaign. Thanks so much for breaking it down Thank with you. us. Uh,
for us, I should say. <laughs> I appreciate it.